Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it. This is Animalia. I am the Marmoset. This is City Skylines. And we have achieved peak residential demand. We have absolutely full with residential demand to the point where all of my factories, all my beautiful, beautiful factories, which are providing the majority of my income, are telling me they don't have enough workers. Don't have enough workers. Not enough workers. Not enough workers. We have a massive worker problem. The other thing I am going to quickly do is I am going to adjust the shape of bee shopping so that it fills all the way down and catches the rest of the road work. So it catches all the extension area. And I am going to institute a policy on bee shopping. Um, if I can find it, yes. Policies. I am going to put, in terms of city planning, a heavy traffic ban. No heavy transport vehicles allowed. It does not affect highways. So, why am I doing this? Because... Lawmaker, yes. In that thing of things. I want to link... Basically, I want to put some kind of shortcut in here to enable my um, buses, um, to enable my staff, my people, to get to and from this dead part of town much easier without having to go all the way up to the motorway and down again. I don't want this getting clogged up with passenger tra with uh, foot traffic and people traffic. So what we're going to do is we are going to one, two, three, four. Now it turns out this is actually the middle one as well. We are going to quickly get those power lines out of the way and just reconnect them like that. We're going to grab the road with bus lanes again. Yeah. And we are going to connect it from there to there. And then we are going to upgrade space already occupied. What could possibly be in the way? What could possibly be in the way? It's a fire station. That's what's in the way. Go to the other side of the road. And then we will upgrade that one. Okay, so we have quite a large road running in the middle of the bee shopping area. And then we are going to see about our bus routes. So that bus route, bizarrely, still insists on going that way round. Seems a little bit weird to me. Delete. Don't go any here anymore. So you now apparently need to go all the way over there to turn around. If I delete that stop, you can now go into there to turn around. Okay. Go away. Go away. I would like you to stop there. Get rid of that stop. Rid of that stop. Put a stop in there. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. Put a stop in there. Don't put a stop on that bit, it will slow it down too much. If I put a stop here and then here, I can do stupid things like going all the way around there. So you go all the way around like that. Now I would like to drag you to that podium point. And then I would like to drag... See, that is actually the best way for it to come around. So let's just put a stop in... No. Let's not put one there. Let's keep that going and flowing as best as we possibly can. So that'll weave round through the industrial that estate just a little bit, because it does. So a lot of my buses have a tendency to do that. That will greatly help, because now we'll have a nice grippy wadge of traffic space down the middle. Let's grab that, let's grab a brush. Let's paint all the commercial buildings back in. They've been adjusted. So that's let my cash tick up a little bit. So there's the bus going in. Now, there should not be any heavy traffic using this road. There should just be people wanting to get back and forth, enables my bus routes to go back and forth a little bit quicker. Getting abandoned buildings. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's traffic lights there. I don't really want traffic lights anywhere. I wonder if I can get rid of the traffic lights for a stretch of road. And just having no you wait from here to here. You are an exit lane. So Yes, I like kinky roads. Mm, I'm not convinced. No stopping, please. No stopping. Just all of them moving. Plenty of moving. That works better, but I think... I think I have a better idea. No, no. You will all fall down. Fall down in mid-air. Fall down. In mid-air. Mid-air. Mid-air will be the falling for you. So let's have... An area of... So that's the... Exit road, and this is the entrance road. So you are leaving town. Just like that, you are entering town. Have your own time. It's have your own time. Right, so that's that going in and out. Let's now talk about how we're going to get people. Page up, please. Oh, yeah, I need to. Not that far up. Wrong curve. Ah, I want that type of curve. Mm. Wrong button. I would let this kind of tick on, but I can what I can do is pick up from there. Do that, and then I can get the upgrade tool. Yeah, but I want to change the direction. Ah, right tech. There we go. So you can come off there, and then you join that. Now, if we need to worry about upgrading that, you can do. And then I want. This one, I think we're going to have to probably call a tunnel. Like that. There we go. That's a pretty heavy and pretty industrial network. My buses don't go anywhere near it, but that should let me make sure I have no traffic problems with people getting into this bloody place. We might look at making that little stretch of road one way later, but for now, I'm pretty happy that we've got all of this in. Most of them are complaining about workers, massively complaining about workers. No lack of workers, yes. So, 
This area of low density is apparently not enough to satisfy the demands of our little town. We need to be looking at getting things a bit bigger. Much bigger, in fact. Much, much, much larger, much bigger. I spent 10 minutes prattling around on that little roadway and tidying up my uh, bus network, but I'm pretty happy that what we've got here is a district that will work. But, so that train station is vaguely useful, but any trucks coming off it that want to get to this bit have to... have to go round onto the motorway. Well, no, that's not true, actually. I banned heavy goods vehicles, my donut trucks. Owner cargo term, I'm going to quite close. So the donut trucks are still getting in and out. So this works quite nicely. So this lets all the small trucks that come from here get into here, but stops the heavy trucks from using this as a shortcut getting anywhere else. Do I have any problems with traffic in this area? No, I mean, it's a bit of an absurd sharp turn there, but I am not immediately fussed. Yeah, okay, I'm happy. So we've got a huge amount of space over here as well for developing more properties. The poop. Poop is slowly fading. Slowly but surely there is less and less poop. More poop here. And that's where I'm dumping the poop. How are we doing for power? Power is okay for now, but I think we probably might need to invest in that in a bit. I know there's an abandoned building. It makes me sad that there's an abandoned building. I've gone horribly well. Lots of traffic. Lots of traffic. Massive pile up trying to turn left. Ah. Uh, cars despawning because of. The entrance way to the eye is blocked up. Yeah, okay, so I am going to do the thing I said I was going to look at doing, which is making a six way, one way road. There and there. Which way are you going? You're going out, you're going in. Change. Nope, hang on a sec. That's the wrong way around. That's the wrong way around for my bus line. Suddenly, everybody about face. All right, let's see if that gets the traffic out a little bit more, making it three-way interchange with lots and lots more space. So we're going to see very many people at all going into this area whatsoever. Overall, I think I'm happy that that is going to reduce the absurd amount of traffic problems I've got with people trying to get in and out of this area. You can still hear the dinging going on as the people still upgrade from the university. But yeah, we've got 110, 120 odd thousand. I think it's time we started looking at building our new residential district. So, what kind of animal, what kind of shape do we want? Um, we could go for squid. We've already got a tentacular jellyfish's horror. We've already done plenty of circles. We've got hexagons. We've got the donkey mind, which is kind of, kind of a more of a, no, a slightly attractive. I mean, if I put wheels here, it would actually be kind of tractor shaped, but we've got a nice area along here. I think it might be time we started looking at doing some high density stuff. Um, what kind of shape, what kind of shape do we want? Um, I suppose I could do some kind of internal hexagon. Now, I have decided I'm going to try and keep this as low density as possible. I'm going to make this. It's going to be my big first high density area. So I'm probably going to carry on doing with the low density in this part of town. Mostly because I just don't think my road network as is, is going to take it. So let's look. What we want is some kind of spinal road running along the center of it. And then... I don't know, let's just kind of do fronds. So do, let's do a road that runs along this part here, and then just have curvy fronds coming off it. And then we'll just call it, I don't know, the fern or the bat. Make it, yeah, it's a bacteria with philia. So that's a jellyfish. What we'll do over here is a bit of bacteria. So let's start off with our road. And let's spike you off from do a nice long arc. Bring you all the way out to about here. Done. And then we will grab that. Cancel, please. So we're looking at doing lots of fronds. So these are our rows that are going to come out. Sharpest angle. 
possibly can. And switch to that. So we're basically talking about doing lots of yeah, what more? Not quite what I want. So it's got the beginnings of what I want, which is to come out, grab, just go a little bit further. No, no, a little bit further in. I don't want the junction to be there. Let's grab that straight as we can, close as we can possibly get. And I want the curved road. And I want it to arc round like that. There we go. So I will put in the cilia, the little spikes first, make sure they are reasonably spread out, we don't want to get these things too close together, too close, too close together, singing now, how desperate I am to entertain you ladies and gentlemen, while you watch me gently click and nudge a sequence of roads. No, I pushed the button of wrong. I failed you. Hopefully not for the last time. That is automatically tacking to pretty much 90 degrees of where I've already gone. It suits me nicely. Quite animalia, there's no stopping us also having, you know, actual animal name, uh, plant name for some of these places. Oh, I yeah. am. Increasingly tempted to call this place Fern Gully. Slightly squiffy there, but we do have a horse paddock to go around. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's because of the um, bloody power loins. So, yeah, we'll get rid of them later. It's a nice park already in here. Down to here. Down to here. Down to here. No, I'm not going to connect that up. Because <laughs> I'm an ass. To there. To Start from the other end. To there. Go around. Oh, I know what we can call it. Since it does look somewhat like it. This is Vertebrae Park. Don't want to get too close to the pollution. So the power lines we'll have to deal with later. So we've got lots of space along here to put all sorts of nice things so let's start off by going left to right now power there's plenty of power already in the area but we will need to make sure we've got water since this is going to be a new district A very lonely power line. It is, because I've cut my power <laughs> off again. I'm glad it pops up with those alerts and those warnings letting you know that you know you've completely depowered your city again. How are we doing for poo? Water availability is absolutely amazing. Good, good. So, huge amount of. That has gone in, so let's tick along. Garbage. Landfill use is generation fine. Oh, 
there we go. That's the time up on this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching me put in this. I think the name of it has been decided. It's going to be Vertebrae Park, named after vertebrates, which are animals. So, thank you very much for watching, gentlemen. I've been the Marmoset. This has been City Skylines with the Town of Animalia. Please remember to like and subscribe. We're losing people. They're leaving. It's because I haven't got enough people. They're getting lonely and leaving. Because everyone's lonely at work. Because apparently, despite the fact that I thought we had a large amount of industrial demand, you need an awful lot of residential, but not a lot of industrial. So the ratio is a bit off compared to what I was expecting in my head. So, anyways, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Bye for now.